Welcome everyone. I can see people are starting to join. Just gonna wait a few more minutes so that everyone can get in and then we'll get started. Hi guys, nice to see some messages. Welcome. Hi everyone. Maybe while we're waiting, if everyone lets us know where in the world they're from, that'd be great just to see a bit of the coverage. Afternoon, Rob. Afternoon, Charles. Quite a lot of UK guys. Welcome. Canada. <clears throat> Good morning from New Zealand. <clears throat> Yes, I think an answer to Jade there. The uh, the session is being recorded. Mitchum in Surrey, not far from us. Hi, Dominic from Australia. Danielle, another Canadian, welcome. I think that might be everyone, Emily. Yeah, are we ready? Awesome. So. <clears throat> So welcome to today's webinar, everyone. It's really nice to have you. Um, so just to do a very quick intro, you've got myself, Emily. I'm from the sales team here at Invigo. I've got Alex from our technical team here from Invigo as well. And then we've got Paul from Print IQ um, to help, help with the webinar as well. Just uh, to go through the agenda so we can um, follow, follow these steps from the, um, from the agenda that we've provided. We're going to go through a quick um, intro just on Infigo and Print IQ so you can understand a bit more about what our offerings are. We're then going to cover off an exclusive first show of the product sync and that's going to be syncing from Print IQ into Infigo and Alex is going to kindly share that with us. Um, and then we're going to go through an end-to-end -end demonstration of placing an order within the Infigo platform right the way through to where that order will go into Print IQ and how that order will then be pushed into the workflow for production. And then at the end of the session, we're going to wrap up with a live Q&A, cover off some questions. So if you think of things, you can put them into the chat um, and we'll try and answer those um, at the end of the webinar. So I'm going to start out with an introduction to Infigo and who we are. 
So we provide innovative web to print e-commerce solutions globally. We serve a variety of different industries. Um, and as a business, we're 50 strong. We have been going around 12 years and we've got three offices, one in the UK, one in the US and also in Eastern Europe, Moldova. In a nutshell, we deliver solutions that allow you to create storefronts for B2B and B2C clients, making it as simple as possible for your customers to order those products online. We have a powerful tool called MegaEdit, and that can support anything from the variable data templated designs right the way through to products that your customers might want to design online from scratch. In, ad in addition to this, we've got the integrations and partnerships um, such as PrintIQ to help manage those workflows um, for the next steps after that order is placed. We're now going to start out with a poll. So really interested to hear your thoughts on this and hear kind of, you know, how your businesses are currently operating. Um, you'll see the poll pop up on your screen. And I'm interested to hear who currently has a fully integrated web to print and MIS solution in place at the moment. So cast your votes, if you will, that would be great. Thank you. Paul, what do you think about a fully integrated web to print and MIS solution then? Yeah, I think it's, um, it's the um, current talking point for a lot of companies nowadays. Um, integration is the key word, but then when we're looking mm -hmm. at multiple systems coming together, I think when people look at a web to print solution, um, the, the simplicity of automating that into an MIS, I think um, people probably wonder why they didn't do it sooner because um, there are so many gains to be made, especially nowadays when, when everyone's facing a, a skills challenge, um, um, ability to re recruit the right people in key areas. Um, I think uh, this is one area where people do need to evaluate, either looking at the web to print aspect first, or if they've got web to print, okay, the next challenge is, how do we simplify that into your MIS? So uh, I, I think you hit the nail on the head there. It's everyone that does do it. Then, then questions why they didn't do it sooner. <clears throat> it's, quite, it's quite an overwhelming yeah. thing potentially at the start, but once once you do get that integration, you do get that web to print and you do find your MIS solution, um, integrating it is you know, it's critical. Agreed. So we have all the votes in. So I can see on the results here, we've got <clears throat> the majority, almost 60% of people are saying that they don't currently have both systems integrated at the moment. So that's really interesting to hear. Um, it's showing and telling me that most businesses need to, you know, review um, automation within their workflows or potentially looking to, to review that. And I'd be really interested to hear from you guys after this webinar um, just on, you know, how you're looking to um, improve that, what you're currently doing at the moment to process orders. And then, yeah, we'd love to see how we can help. Next off, we've got an intro to Print IQ from Paul. Thank you, Emily and the Invigo team there. Um, yep. My name is Paul Bromley. I'm the Global Sales Director at Print IQ. I'm really passionate about our, our MIS solution, uh, which we believe is one of the leading platforms in the MIS market space. Uh, and why do we think that? Because we're a fresh, innovative solution, um, simple to use, but with immense power to back that up. So Print IQ, we're a global software solution provider in the MIS space, locations uh, across the globe now and an ever-growing team. We're pushing past 70 employees now. Our locations at present are Australia, New Zealand, America, and the UK. The UK landed in uh, January 2020. Um, our solution and our, our background really has always been about providing visibility within your business, which is it's huge nowadays. Um, we help you make the informed, correct decisions, and we focus on simplicity at the heart of everything we do, um, which um, is a challenge for many businesses. Uh, you may be experiencing that now um, or uh, in the near future. But as I said before, uh, we're a growing team now and our skill base is, is wide and robust across the globe. We're very aware as well that integrations also play a key part in a lot of businesses. So whether that's an accounts package to IQ or a web to print system. So again, 
we have a lot of capability in that space. Being cloud also helps that uh, that connectivity. Um, Emily, um, back over to you. Hopefully that covers who we are. Yeah, thanks for that, Paul. I think first of all, we've got um, another poll. So we're going to go with um, the next poll. We're interested to hear whether automation is high on your agenda within your business. So you can see the pop up again on your screen and cast your votes again. Just want to hear you know, what your thoughts are around this, whether it's something you're really looking to um, invest in and analyze and um, improve within your organization. Yeah, and while you guys are voting, I just want to add that you know, one of the biggest benefits of our integration um, with Print IQ is that within a very short period of time, you can spin up a, a branded website, sync all of your inventory and some print on demand products from Print IQ so they're ready to be ordered straight away. So your customers can effectively immediately start placing orders and have them automatically fall into Print IQ, which is where, where their automation workflow then kicks in. And Paul, you can tell us a bit about the magic of streamlining yeah, that. Yeah, you're totally right, Alex. Um, and as I said, you know, Infigo are a key partner to Print IQ, um, and our integration has now taken the next step. Um, so you'll see we have the ability to sync inventory items now straight into Infigo, which saves a huge amount of time having to build those products out twice. Um, again, as workforces become smaller and the questions are asked of should we reinvest in people or systems, um, I think now people can be shown the right direction, which is systems can provide um about those key uh, intricacies that previously weren't available so the infigo team have done a fantastic job connecting in with uh, print iq's robust api awesome so the results of the poll <laughs> <laughs> we can see Very that one-sided pretty much everyone um a whopping 96 percent everyone's looking um, to review automation within their business, which is great. It's great to hear. We're really interested to learn more about, you know, what your thoughts are around that and how you're looking to improve um, your workflows and so on. Um, and I guess now we'll look at placing an order. We'll look at sort of how that workflow can happen from start to finish and um, what that looks like when a customer places the order, when that goes into um, Print IQ and what would happen next um, from that as well. Yeah, thanks, Emily. So firstly, before Emily runs you through that ordering process, um, uh, we've been working closely with Paul and the team at Print IQ for over the last few years to uh, to build out a really flexible and powerful integration that we've got today. Um, we understand the level um, of effort that is required to set up a web to print system. And then when you couple that with setting up an MIS2, <clears throat> it can be quite overwhelming. So collectively, we focus on streamlining this um, and making this as simple and efficient as possible for our customers. Um, so, that, so what we now offer, in addition to the Print IQ plugin that we've had for, for a period of time now, along with pushing orders in, getting status updates back and fetching live quote pricing, which, we've, which we also do, we also now have a, a product sync from Print IQ. So Paul touched on it. So rather than having to create your products in two places and have to constantly maintain them in two places, We'll automatically create and update products from Print IQ into Infigo on demand. Our product sync supports um, both inventory products, but also some simple print on demand products as well. And the information that's shared between the two systems includes things like product name, description, weight, dimensions, all of things that are required for you know calculating your shipping in the front end to offer to your customers, product imagery to obviously make it look smart on your site. Um, and even the category structure. So if you've created a, a, a category and a hierarchy of categories in Print IQ, you can we will mimic that in the shop front and the shopping experience for, for the customers. Um, if you've got things like product restrictions um, around um, the, the number of the quantities that um, those products can be ordered in, we'll also replicate that in Infigo too. And then all of these products are then created, mapped to Print IQ SKUs, and they can be ordered without any other manual intervention. So I touched on it at the, in the second poll. You really can spin up a branded website, um, have your product catalog created within a structured hierarchy of categories and have people ordering it um, fairly quickly. 
The only intervention that is needed is for some of the more advanced print on demand products. Um, so we support the creation of static PDF products. Um, so when it's print on demand, but the, but the artwork is actually static. If that artwork exists in Print IQ, we will generate that as a static PDF product in Infigo as well. So you can have your flipbook preview and things like that, and the customer can see the static print on demand product. But for the more advanced variable products, which is where our kind of USP comes in with our mega edit editor, we'll still create the basics of the product. So it exists with the product name, dimensions, price, and everything like that. But then, the cust but then you guys, our customers, will then use our invent plugin to add the mega edit variable template to those products within Vigo. So it's still a fairly streamlined process. Um, but there is, there is some work to make it variable and load up our mega edit editor. Um, lastly, we've also added support for fetching and validating live inventory. So directly from Print IQ on demand, when a customer lands on a product that is an inventory product, uh, we'll make a request to Print IQ um, for the stock levels of that product at that time. So you only need to manage this again in one place. And also it, it, it eliminates the, the risk of um, allowing people to order um, when stock doesn't exist. Um, so when the product's ordered, the stock is deducted in Print IQ, and the next time a customer visits that product, a request, the subsequent request is made to Print IQ, and the and the live inventory count reflects that oh, having been ordered or before. So let me just quickly show you um, out of the box what a stock product might look like. So um, this is our Infigo in storefront. These are a series of uh, Print IQ mapped products. And this one right here is an inventory one. So this stock level count is pulled dynamically from Print IQ. Uh, the image, um, product image, the product description, the product name, all equally pulled from Print IQ and automatically created. Um, so then Emily, when she goes through later and orders these pro products and demonstrates that order flow, the next time a customer lands on this page, the inventory will be reflected with that new stock count um, and the order will fall automatically into Print IQ. So now on to you, Emily, to demonstrate um, the order flow and how simple that process is from Infigo into Print IQ. Brilliant, thank you. I'll just share my screen and we'll take you through the order process. So we've got a couple of products to showcase um, today just so that you guys can get an idea of the ordering experience from a couple of perspectives. So firstly, I'm just going to take you through ordering a static PDF um, document. So we've got a brochure here. We can preview that product before we add it to our basket. We've then got um, a nice standard you know, um, product landing page here where we can configure things like pricing, um, maybe some options around the product such as quantity, finish, size and so on. And once I'm happy with my quantity and my product, I can then, then go straight through and I add it to my basket. So it's a very simple ordering experience for a customer to just place an order for a static PDF um, artwork that they just need to um, get ordered nice and quickly. And I'm going to jump over to um, a different type of product. So a more, more template driven um, variable data style user journey. So this has loaded up our, our mega edit editor. So this is our flagship editor. It's used for a variety of different products. Anything from um, the standardized you know, marketing collateral that people might be ordering right the way through to print, um, printed labels, packaging, folding cartons and so on. Now we've loaded up a business card just to kind of give everyone an idea of the flow from start to finish. We've got a nice simple form fill experience here on the right hand side. And we've got a combination of free type text boxes and then also some preset selections. So for example, if I pick my location, the artwork below here will change based on my location that I select. I can then go in and I can put uh, my personalization. I can put my, my name, my job title, and all of my other contact details, depending on how I need to populate the template. If I wanted to as well, I could also have preset data to populate this so that the user couldn't make any mistakes. Um, you can set up quite complex rules around the user journey as well if needed to. Once I'm finished with my personalization, 
I can then go ahead and preview. So this is kind of classed as my online proof. I can check that my artwork's correct, that there's no spelling mistakes, and that I'm happy with my um, design before I go through to checkout. And then I simply add to basket and complete the checkout process. And that mega edit product, sorry, sorry. I mean, that mega edit product no. started like started off life as a as a InDesign file mm -hmm. that we then have a, a InDesign plugin that can easily transform your InDesign files into variable variable mega edit products. And then in terms of sort of checking out and everything, that's nice and simple for the user. So our idea here is to create a really simple checkout process for the customer to either pick from preset billing and shipping addresses. You've got options here for them to select different courier options based on what you would like to offer them. And we've got integrations into different couriers and also um, Easy Post, one of our shipping partners as well. And then we can go through and complete the payment process online. So whether you would prefer to invoice that customer externally from Invigo or whether you would like them to pay um, via credit card or debit card, for example, or Stripe, then we have um, different payment integrations um, uh, optional as well for each customer. Then we go through and confirm that order. And at this point, I will then receive an order confirmation. So I can see a summary um, on my page here, which is nice and convenient for me to just see that. And then I've also got an email that will come straight to my inbox, which is registered with that order. And then as a user as well, I can also review my orders um, in my account section. So this is really useful for um, a user to be able to see the order, um, check the order status. So I can see here it's being processed. Um, and then this order status will also update um, regularly throughout um, the status updates that are syncing with PrintIQ, um, which Paul will touch on as well when he shows you where the order goes. So from a customer's perspective, placing that order is really simple. They have a nice, easy user experience, and then they can also track that order and see the order in their account here as well. So I'm now going to hand over to Paul, and Paul's going to show us where that order goes and um, what happens to the order to, for, for it to be pushed into PrintIQ for production. Thank you, Emily. Fantastic. Um, Yep, so um, for anyone who's not seen Print IQ before, um, this is Print IQ on screen now. Uh, we're a cloud-based MIS solution. Um, and as Emily's kindly covered there with the online order, we'll actually ingest that. So we have various connections into Infigo based on a static product or, or dyma dynamic template. Um, so we're constantly polling the connectivity. So inside our system, I'll be diving into our orders area here. So we don't need to create the order or do the quote that's already been done on the web platform. So as far as we're concerned, the order has been taken. So if we look inside IQ now, what will happen is the order will be ingested into our orders um, um, tab here. So not only does it bring in the job detail, it also bring in the artwork. And as you'll see, we've been doing various tests today with lots of um, static templates, uh, variable templates using MegaEdit. Um, and these have been polling through as we've been testing. So inside a job, if we look inside um, any of these, IQ has done some clever things. It's actually taken the job and it understands the production process. So the beauty there is that when we are ingesting jobs into the business, whatever that job may be, various different substrates, different printing processes, based on the product, IQ will know how to process that. So flipping it on its head if it's an inventory item as um kind of shared earlier um we can actually see those inventory based items as well so iq becomes the source of truth in regards quantity levels can we allow back orders so we can share all this information real time within figo so wherever the user is ordering from they can actually see live stock levels if they're checking their inventory so this is where alex went to before in infigo but inside IQ, this is how it looks. So we've got the brochure, we've got the beer label, we've got business cards if we're holding those in stock as well with live in inventory that's depleted as and when those items are ordered. So when a job lands inside the Print IQ system, we process that via production boards um, and a production team will take um, ownership based on which department they work in. So here we've got the old jobs board, normally geared towards CSRs or account managers, 
where information is is key. So if someone did query me and phone me up and say, where is my job, 1965, I can instantly see that that's print ready at the moment. So that's waiting to go on press, digital, live, or whichever, high-speed inkjet. So the, the aim behind the production boards is one, is visibility. So all jobs board is very low touch point, gives me all the information I need. But IQ's already taken that job in from Invigo and planned it across all the boards automatically. So there's no production headache needed here. So if I go look, go through and look at the pre-production, this is the pre-press, design, repro area, and the jobs are starting to drop in now. Um, we've got some key information in here, such as quantity, who is the account manager, is there a shift pattern associated with this job and where it will fall, who is the customer. And then we've also got the ability to customize that to your heart's content based on you as a user. So when you log in as Paul, Sarah, Sam, you can then have key filters assigned to your user because you may only want to see things like stock and size and not so much operations or customer. So you can tailor this to your own, um, your own log on. Icons on the right hand side are where Infigo has told us that for this job, based on the product itself, it will need to go through pre-press and have artwork checked. Potentially, we do need to send a proof out and there will be imposition needed. At the same time, when we're going to push it through production, people are then seeing these jobs land on their boards based on email communication and also working on the board or being assigned to a job. So if I was to assign a person to this job now, as a production manager, I can go in and say, that's Jacob's job, let's assign him in there. And then Jacob will be assigned to this job. And you can currently see that this is already going through printing. So we're tracking everything inside IQ. And the beauty of that is we can help manage capacity. We can see where jobs are, we can give feedback to customers. And we do this in various manners. So if we look down here, we can see a job going through production where we've gone through, we've done the file check, we've done the PDF proof. There's a proof still to send, but this job needs to be printed, gloss laminated, matte lambed, and then guillotined. So IQ will set this production path for the operators without any in intervention whatsoever. If we look at the order that um, was placed, we've got the business card element here. And the same applies to this. So the job's ingested automatically. We know how to produce this through the business. So everything is set for us. The artwork, we've downloaded that automatically from Infigo. Um, business card size is already set. If there was a quote for that, if we've got the SKU, which Infigo's kindly shared, and then we've got the elements that are needed in pre-production, pre-press, and then production, so plates, print, guillotine. So people can start stop using various methods. They can use a digital based job bag. So this is normally geared towards tablets, Apple or Android. There's no restriction with print IQ. So whether it's on a phone, a tablet or a PC or a Mac desktop platform, or even via the web browser we're on today via a RIP platform, you can completely do that. So I can interact as an operator and say, I'm starting work on that job at this stage by simply clicking start. That will change the icon at the top and say that I'm now currently producing this. At the same time, we also offer barcodes. So using the iPhone or the Android app from IQ, you can also scan the barcode. So depending on skill sets or departmental restrictions, such as lots of small jobs and not being able to do things such as tap a screen, you can have a barcode scan as well if you wish. So again, this is based on the job bag geared towards a digital tablet rather than printing out a job bag. But we do offer the ability to print the job bag also. For some of the store items that are held in, in Figo, they'll be passed over to IQ as a sales order item. So we handle those slightly differently because they're already manufactured, they already sit on the shelf theoretically, and we just need to generate pick lists. So we can do that with ease by clicking the generate pick, and then IQ got ahead of itself then. It will then generate a barcoded sheet which allows the operator to see the locations of where these items are stored in various areas of the warehouse on mezzanines aisle six level two as an example and using a barcode scanner we can scan these out of inventory ready for dispatch everything we do is tracked in iq so we can see the api integration here within figo 
and we can also see when operators are also involved in producing the job. So at this stage now, once we've pushed this all the way through to fully manufactured, then we'd share that information with Infigo and Infigo would then handle this, the dispatch. So hopefully that gives everyone a, um, a, a flying tour of Print IQ um, and handing this back over to you, Emily. Thank you, Paul. That was really, really, really good. It's nice to see the orders uh, flow from start to finish. I hope that ha helped everyone understand. Um, we're going to go now straight on to the Q&A. So we've been having some questions come in while we've been going through the webinar. Um, and I'm just going to kind of pick a few at random. And then myself, uh, Alex and Paul are going to go through them and answer them as best as we can. So first of all, I've got one for you, Alex. Mm. Why do you think that you should automate your workflow? That's uh, a question that's come in. Um... Well, I mean, I hope we've demonstrated many of it, many of the benefits of um, automating um, your workflows in this webinar. But I guess, um, you know, in the world we live in today, um, automation is critical to be able to efficiently scale. Um, you, you want to remove touch points, uh, remove the number of people involved in successfully um, placing and producing an order. And ultimately, you want to increase you know, the profit margins. And automation essentially allows all of this to happen. I guess you might then ask, well, why choose Infigo and Print IQ? Um, but I think the level of integration that we have between the two systems is like nothing else on the market. Um, but equally, you're not just investing in two pieces of software, you're investing in a partnership. You know, with the two, um, it's particularly you know, my development teams, and but also the partnership teams who work so closely with um, the IQ guys and I speak to many of them more than I speak to some members of my family but what we offer for our mutual customers is is one solution that we work together to deliver for you so um, yeah, I hope that helps <laughs> thanks um, and then I guess one one for Paul so from existing customers what have they said um, their benefits are of integrating web to print and MIS systems. So I know that we've got quite a nice handful of um, joint customers under our belt. Have you had some feedback from them over the past few months and year? Um, yeah, yeah, I think um, uh, obviously automation is is key with, uh, with the integration between the two systems and it, it's automating those orders into their production workflow. So a lot of people, um, I think COVID was the, the, the big one really where uh, the workforce may not be based in an office anymore. So uh, we've got a lot of production managers that, that live in Cornwall. So Cornwall has got a really high skill level down there for production managers at the moment, because it seems during that period, everyone transitioned away from working in the business. So being, being able to work from anywhere, so cloud systems, that was the big one. Um, also visibility of where the orders are in the business. So from web to print to production, there was often a lag. It would sit in people's trays. So where, does, where is that job in the business? We know it's landed, we can see that, but where is it in the production process now? Has it even entered production processes? So um, the, the key thing there is cash flow as well, because um, obviously you're, we're getting payments up front in the web to print system, which then is, is a nice thing for a print company when historically they've always had to print, manufacture, deliver, and then wait for the payment as well. So I think visibility and uh, the cloud aspect has been the big one. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, I've got one from Alberto Torres. What is the plugin we need to set variable products? So touching it earlier, but it's a, it's an InDesign plugin um, that's actually our product called Invent. Um, and obviously when you purchase Infigo, you get that as part of part of the package so that you can turn your, your InDesign files into, into variable products easily. Uh, yeah, I've got a question for Emily. Um, do you have to go for both Infigo and Print IQ at the same time? Um, so we do have this question asked quite a lot because as, as everyone probably is aware, implementing an MIS solution and a web to print system at once can be quite overwhelming. Um, there's no sort of general rule to it, I guess, in our, in our sense. It might suit your business best to implement one or the other first, but it's perfectly 
you know um, doable to have them kind of running alongside each, each other so a lot of our clients will be um, kind of benefiting from the web to print um, solution first they will be implementing that first and getting some orders in getting those those orders and the customer ordering process nice and automated and then in the background setting up the print iq storefront and getting the the system um set up in a more complex I, I guess it's more complex setting up the mis stuff than it is uh the the storefront side of things so that part can be running in the background whilst those orders are coming through in figo and once print iq is live um, you can then look at integrating the two together. So taking more of a phased approach rather than just, you know, everything all at once, I guess. A uh, couple more. So Charles Henry, is the live, is the pricing live slash real time on Infigo? Can discounts be applied for promotions? So yeah, so the way it works is um, you, you can have pricing held in Infigo, but you can also have um, pricing held in, in, in uh, Print IQ and Similarly to, similarly to the, the inventory um, request that we make, we do a, a request to get a price. So um, what that's doing in, in under the hood is, um, is creating a quote uh, in Print IQ and returning the, the value of that quote back to Infigo. Um, and we support simple quotes, which is skew to skew. Um, and we're also, uh, part of a, a latest update is introducing more custom quotes. Um, as well um, when it comes to discounts those are managed and handled in in infigo we have a, a, a discount um, area in admin that allows you to create a number of different um, discount requirements and again those can be applied to the price and overwritten before it's sent back to print iq so if print iq sends a a quote for a job um, but then in the basket you offer a, a discount to the customer the price that gets sent back to print iq for that order um, will be overwritten um, and, in, and include um, the discount and potentially any additional shipping and freight costs that you also apply um, as part of that checkout process. Nice, thanks, Alex. Um, any other questions that anyone's got at all? Any last minute questions there's, before there's we- one for, one for Paul. Can we generate a pick list in Print IQ? Uh, yeah, we can generate the pick list and we just need to triple check on whether that can be triggered via the API. <laughs> everyone uh, everyone loves the API now. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I just need to triple check that one, um, um, Rick, and I'll come straight back to you. Thanks, uh, another one from Jade. If we have multiple users, can they automatically have all their details pre-populated and locked to them? i.e. if I log in as a London site, will my details pop in automatically? I'm assuming, Jade, that this you mean from Print IQ or is this preloaded in Infigo? So we don't currently um, sync customer information from Print IQ into Infigo, but in Infigo we have tools to bulk load uh, customers in via CSV, for example. So you can create upfront your customer lists um, and have their information pre-populated. And then within the editor, you can also use um, our pre-populate data functionality that, that will automatically load up their information stored against their account. Um, yeah, so preloaded on the business card, for example. Yeah, so if that, is, if that exists in the user's account in Infigo, you can pre-populate that onto the template um, in the editor. Nice, thanks. So I think we're almost running towards the end of our, our time slot. Um, I guess as um, just to kind of wrap up, I think we'd like to just present to you um, an offer as part of the um, webinar. I don't know if you want to just run through that, Paul. Yeah, um, as part of the webinar, both um, Print IQ and Infigo will be keen to talk to companies, look at your future goals and vision. Um, and we would like to offer a uh, a deal against uh, integration so we need to look at all the various scenarios but um as i said you know we'd be keen to discuss this so whether you contact emily or print iq and uh, we can discuss this further but um if you've attended the webinar today just mention that if it's the us linda if it's uh, um, the australia region new zealand and justin weber or if it's uk emir uh, myself or rob thurston um, and the same with emily we can direct you on uh, on how to activate that 
Awesome. Thank you. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot from the webinar. And um, yeah, we look forward to speaking with everyone and hopefully helping your businesses automate even more. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Cheers, guys.